Good day, folks. I'm Mick Van Sale from Ironman 4x4. We're about to embark on the last chapter of Dion's dual cap build, uh, and that is the suspension fitment. So everything else has been fitted to the vehicle. We fitted all the accessories. It's fueled up. It's got water on board. The only thing that's not in the vehicle is Dion, his clothes, and his food. So as it stands there, it's pretty much ready to go on tour. And what's happened with the vehicle is that it's lost a bit of ride height, about 20 mils in front and 25 millimeters in the rear, and that's to be expected. And what this does now is it gives us the opportunity to properly spec what suspension we're gonna be putting back in the vehicle to not only compensate for that loss in ride height, but also give us an additional around 40 millimeters of ride height. That's a good lift on these vehicles. Anything taller than that starts being an issue. So we'll be fitting a full suspension kit coil springs front, leaf springs rear, and we're also going to be fitting the Ironman 4x4 foam cell pro shock absorbers. It's the top of the range shock absorber from Ironman, big beefy shock absorbers, very smooth riding but very hard working shocks. For those of you that are interested, we did a comprehensive tech talk video on shock absorbers, what they are, how they work, and the different types of shock absorbers that are available from Ironman 4x4. The link to that video will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get the guys in from lunch and get them to fit that suspension. Now the great result with the suspension fitment to Dion's vehicle, we lost about an inch worth of ride height when we fitted all the accessories. Having fitted the suspension kit now, we've made that up plus an additional 40 mils of lift and it's come out really good, a really good result. All that's left now is to have the vehicle sign written and then we can wrap up this build. 